Okay, so let, let's say now it is time to pay employees. If you can see down here at the bottom, uh, we have a button that says pay employees. We can click on that. Um, so right down here would be a list of all of the employees that we have. Uh, in this case, we only have one employee. So we're going to put a check mark next to her name. Uh, if you had more than one employee, you, would, you could click on check all to pay everybody. Um, or you could just select the ones individually that need to be paid. You need to select when your pay period ended. So we're, we'll say the pay period ended on the 17th, and we will say that they are getting paid today on the 21st. So here we would put in how many hours this employee worked this week. We need to put in regular hours there and overtime hours there for a total of 42 hours. Then we click continue. Now we have some more information and notice that our gross pay was automatically calculated and our net pay is automatically calculated. It has automatically take, taken out some contributions and that came from our payroll setup. So we're going to click this button that says open paycheck detail because since we are doing payroll manually we have to open the paycheck detail and put in anything that is missing. As you can see, the automatic calculations were the ones we set up for the 401k and health insurance. They were automatic because they were at 3% and $25. But as you can see over here on the right, um, we have the hourly amount computed, the overtime computed. We have a deduction from the employee's paycheck for the 401k, a deduction for the health insurance. But we have zero for federal withholding, Social Security, and Medicare. Well, they do have federal income tax withholding. Now, you'd need to go to the wage bracket tables, which there is a link provided for you for the 2014 wage bracket tables. And you would look up this employee based on their marital status and their allowances and also how they're paid. So this is weekly paid person. They are single, I think she was, and uh, two allowances. And so we would look that up and say that she has $51 withheld for federal. Notice that turns into a negative. And then we would calculate Social Security tax. Social Security tax is 6.2% of gross pay. So I'm going to use quick math and I'm going to type in the gross pay amount and multiply it by 6.2%. And boom, that gives me my answer for a Social Security tax. Now the HI tax or Medicare tax is 1.45% of total gross pay. So I'm going to use quick math again. So then I press enter and there is my deduction for the um, Medicare tax. And now I have a new net pay amount of $339.78. And I'm going to hit save and close. And then I'm going to click on create paychecks. And here would be your option to print paychecks. And of course if you're doing direct deposit you would have an option for direct deposit. Um, you can also just print pay stubs. In the case that you direct deposit, you may want to pass out pay stubs to your employees since their che checks are actually directly deposited into their bank. Okay, so I'm going to hit close. We're not going to print anything. And let's go and look at that. Um, so we're going to go to our check register. And so notice our check register has one item out of it. We've only done one thing this year so far, and that's pay an employee. Um, here's our deposit, our balance, our beginning balance deposit, and then here is the check to Haley Harold. Um, we could double click on that, and it's going to open up the actual check that would be in the right checks window that would be printed off if we printed off the check. Notice it shows the uh, earnings, the taxes, and the deductions shows the hours worked, it shows the pay period. If we wanted to go and look at more detail, we could click on Paycheck Detail. And again, that same window opens up that shows exactly what was withheld for each tax from the employee. It also shows 
what the company has to pay. Oh, by the way, I forgot, the company has to also pay Social Security and Medicare. So we would do quick math on that also. So then we hit save and or then we hit OK. And then we can hit save and close on the check there. Yes, we did change the transaction because we had to add the employer's portion of Social Security and Medicare. Okay, so we're going to click close there. And that is how you pay an employee.